when Sub-Zero Ice Cream brought their store to Centerville, because um, I live in Bountiful, and I love ice cream, and so I went and tried it, took my family, and you know we wanted just to see what it was all about. And so we went and we tried it, and then I called the company later, and they said they actually do presentations. So I called, got it arranged, and Jerry came out last year and presented to my 8th and ninth graders last year. And um, it just fit right in with our core talking about you know, phase changes, chemical reactions, and so it worked perfect for an activity the kids could do and be part of. This presentation, and really science in general, is all about observing things. So it's really what you, you know, scientists discover things because they observe something. If they didn't observe it, they didn't discover it. They have to see it, they have to understand it, they have to observe it. So as we go through this, remember that a lot of this is about observation. So think about what, are, what am I seeing in the past here? Now nitrogen is what we use to freeze things inside the store, but that really kind of relates to a lot of, um, there's a whole science of cryogenics. Now cryogenics is the study of things that are ultra cold. Now, ultra cold is like 100 below zero or below. Nitrogen, is 315 degrees below zero. So it's really, really, really cold. I wasn't expecting them to do anything with the nitrogen. I was just expecting them to show us how to make it and then they would just give us the ice cream. I'd rather do nitrogen in class than like a different chemical because it's like, I don't know, nitrogen <laughs> is awesome and it's, it won't hurt you if you don't make a huge bomb out of it or something. So if you guys can understand this, pressure times volume equals temperature, right? Yeah. Okay? So that's what it says, right? So what's equal? <laughs> to <laughs> pressure volume. Okay? So don't worry about nitrogen. But there is air. There's certain number, are there a certain number of molecules in here? A certain number. We don't know how many. We don't really care. But it's fixed. There's only a certain number of molecules. So if I drop the pressure or the temperature of those molecules, the temperature drops, what's going to happen to pressure and volume? Drop. Because they're equal, right? Okay? As it gets warmer, what happens to pressure and volume? It's bigger. It takes up more space. It's larger. In science, we always try to relate it to as much stuff as they know about, because sometimes we talk about things that are a little over their heads, um, but we try to relate it to something they know, and all kids know ice cream, you know, and so they just, they're having fun with it, they get to see it, and then they get to go to the store, the actual store, and actually get to do it some more, you know, and they see it happen and get to participate, and you know, if it was like our last period, you know, and see the big boom, they get to, you know, see what's going on with that too. So it's good.